All right, finally got the lights fastened down. Everything is working. Yeah, they definitely gonna see me coming. Almost look like a little spaceship. So if you haven't seen my last video, the new lights are the red ones and the white ones. The blue and the green ones I already had installed. Decided to mount my compass here in case your electronics go out. Also added the USB dual charger. Haven't charged the battery in about a week. So you see it draining pretty quickly. But I normally keep uh, two batteries in this battery box and that's plenty to last me all day. Of course you got the blue lights under the seat. Red and white ones in the back. White ones that run along the side. Yeah, we just having fun with all our toys. We just having fun. That's what life's about. And hopefully one day I can graduate and grab that live scope. I don't know if I want to spend three grand on a fish finder. Though it's almost like having a camera underwater. You can see everything. So yeah, I'm happy the way this turned out. Yes, sir. Got the iPilot motorhead. It's a GPS system in a motorhead. And so all I have to do is press a button. It can record up to 16 routes up to two miles. So all I gotta do is press a button and it's gonna send me right back to the shoreline. Or the next time I come out to one of the lakes that I recorded a track on. It'll remember it. And take me back to that same route. I got my sea cooler. This thing keeps ice chunky all day. Decided to put my compass here in case my electronics goes out. You can always find your way home. Got the dual USB port. Battery hasn't been charged in about a week, so it's draining pretty quickly. I normally keep two batteries in this battery box, and it powers the lights, and now the USB and my fish finder. Yes, sir. Man, in this remote is amazing for the uh, for the trolling motor. 
you hit this anchor button and it'll keep you right on your spot even with the wind and the currents trying to push you off the spot when you hit that button that anchor button to keep you right in position sometimes even with the anchor the currents will move you out of position especially up here in the shy a lot of high winds and this boy cut through waves like a saw but I still wanted that extra well I wanted a new toy <laughs> It's that eye pilot. There's plenty of videos on YouTube for people that are int interested in seeing detailed reviews on that motor. And I might cut that motor head down some so when I have it deployed, well, uh, not deployed, it won't take up that much room in the cockpit. Because when it's laying down, hits right where those scupper holes are or shy of that, those scupper holes so I want to chop it down some yes sir can't wait to get this boy on the water And I can't wait to clean up this mess. <laughs> Finally. It's actually brighter than what is coming up on camera. Definitely see me coming. You can use the green lights to. I got them pointed down in the water, and green lights they attract all types of fish to your boat. So all you got to do is drop your line. Just tag them. Step it on tools. Yes, sir. Only thing left is to add my bills pumps. And I'm good to go. I will be good to go.